Hello and welcome to Uniskills Smart Ideas. Today we are presenting to you an interesting, important, urgent intervention. This is about Google. Not about searching, not about your Gmail. It is about the Google Suite for Education, which is believed to be free. We have been using it for a pretty long time. There are millions of institutions around the world in India and everywhere who have been using Google Suite for Education because it has been given free of cost. But smartly, silently and uh, sensibly as well because uh, for the sake of their business, Google is promoting the Enterprise Edition. Now let's show you what is the difference between the Google Suite for Education General Basic that we have been using at educational institutions which has been offered free of cost and the enterprise edition which is being offered now which has been offered for long but we are getting to know it now because the google meet for education which has been a savior a lifeline for many of us who have taken classes during covid during these four months of lockdown google meet is going to get back home the home is the enterprise edition and if you believe that google meet for your g suite for education is going to remain with you that's a lie it is going to end on 30th of september and after that only the enterprise user will have the recording along with the live streaming thing as well and those who are having g suite for education which is free the free one which is given to colleges and universities will only have 100 user based google suite for educations google meet let's bring to screen for you the four types of products that uh, g suite is offering one is uh, g suite essentials which is not primarily for us to use at educational institutions so the other thing that we have is the G Suite for business also which is also we are not using that much but we are there for G Suite for education as well as the other one which is for the enterprise one bigger one we can we can say so we have got a basic one which is given free of cost to non-profits or to educational institutions we have got a business model or a business G Suite, we have enterprise and we have essentials. So here we are going to compare the basic one or the G Suite for education and the G Suite enterprise education one. So here we see that there are participants. The primary difference is in the Google Meet thing. So 100 participants and then we have got 150 participants and then enterprise for education gives us 250 participants it's a big thing why it is a big thing let's show you this is the admin console of our google for education admin account now we can see there's a notification on the header on the top whosoever is your system administration must be able to see that if you are not subscribed to the G Suite Enterprise Edition, the free period of advanced Google Meet video conferencing features ends on 30th of September 2020. And let's remind ourselves, this is 20th of September and we are having not more than uh, that way nine days. Now access to advanced Google Meet features. What are these advanced features that we are talking about? These features are being compared in the table that we are bringing to screen. It is about recording and it is also about the live streaming. See, these two features will be available only to those who have the enterprise edition. You can start your trial, you can upgrade also. Now, interesting thing to compare. G Suite for education is given to schools, colleges free of cost and it has been given for many years now. G Suite Enterprise for Education Edition includes all the features in G Suite for Education plus additional enterprise grade capabilities and what exactly is there let's see they give you institutional uh, email IDs which is common of course then we have got share calendars agreed now what is there what's the difference video and voice conferencing doesn't have live streaming here and it doesn't have recording as well here we can record the meetings here we have 250 participants here we are going to left with the, like we'll be left with 100 participants here and uh, we can live stream and that link can make uh, these many people to watch here we don't have any live stream at all now collaboration of course the icons tell you that it is simple but here the originality reports is limited to three though they have shifted to five also in the G Suite for education based Google classrooms but here it is unlimited originality reports and uh, let's remind again 
let's see again it is enterprise for education not the g suite for education general now we have got some more things like smart search uh, across g suite with cloud search the cloud support comes uh, in the enterprise edition along with that a live 24 by 7 support by phone email and online because it's a sold product you're going to pay for it we got an idea that uh, by the bargaining thing or some other model through their resellers you they say that it is 24 dollars a year for one user one teacher you can say these are the features that you can see and uh, these are more features here you don't have anything on the left side but on the right side they have got some migration and blah 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 so many things now let's go to the difference the difference is here you see this is our admin console and when we go to a user or we go to the billing part once we will show you how like things are different your google suite for education that you have will be your google suite for education we have got a trial version for now and uh, that's our choice whether we upgrade everybody can have a google suite for education and g suite or the google suite uh, enterprise for education for trial for 30 days you can have users on your g suite for education it will be your choice that you upgrade your account or not if you upgrade you are going to get all features of the enterprise and your users are going to be like allowed to use the enterprise version how they are going to use it let's show you you go to users you select a particular user then you go to more and then you allot that user to the enterprise one or to the g suite one so here we are just showing you the features we go to users in the users segment we see that all the users can be selected and you can go to more you can assign them the licenses means if this particular user is assigned g suite enterprise for education then this user will have access to all those features which have been purchased by you and which are the enterprise ones your students can remain on g suite for education and your teachers can certainly go to this one so you can have a less number of uh, people for whom you pay you can buy only for the teachers and uh, th that's that's about your conversation or dealing with them so that's a secondary thing we can also facilitate uh, that uh, acquisition for you for the enterprise for edition one if you really need and you want to have it you want to continue using the google classroom with the advanced features now this is how you do you select those users suppose you select 20 of your teachers or 200 of your teachers and then what you do is you simply go to more and you assign them the license and then they are using the license so in that license they do students remain on G suite for education basic one and then uh, your teachers are using the enterprise one but there is a very important segment that we all need to see again please remember the live streaming of your Google meetings along with the recording features are not going to work after 30th of September as they say and what they say is we are just going to read it again so that we can conclude this video it says that if you're not subscribed to the G Suite Enterprise Edition, the free period for advanced Google Meet video conferencing features ends on 30th of September. You can continue using the 100 user one and you can also continue without the live stream. This is what they say. So we don't guarantee what policies are going to come next. You have some kind of plans to continue using it. So think about it, start working on it. We have less time left for now, but we wish you all the best with the, the Google Suite for education, the enterprise or the general one, because these are looking like good products for not as a learning management system but as a systematic management of your teaching learning as well as an institutional framework so thanks for watching